everybody, this is Debbie with Inspirational Goodies, and I have a Oracle Deck walkthrough for you. These are called Knowledge Cards, Animal Spirits, and the paintings are by Susan Seden Boulay. Now, um, this is a painter that um, passed away in 1997. However, um, these are 48 of her paintings that have been combined with text by John Nagiaki to create an animal spirit knowledge card deck. So these are very intriguing. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Of course, it's a tuck box. This will end up put away somewhere where it won't get damaged. And I will keep them in a <clears throat> uh, drawstring pouch. Um, so the cards are single-sided more or less because I, I, well they don't have a common back let's put it that way so each card has a painting on the front and then it has text on the back there's no guidebook um, the guidebook is the cards themselves so um, this card is obviously the wolf and then it gives you some symbolism and then the text um, that was written up about it so if you're looking at working with animal spirits, this is a really great um, deck to use. They are very glossy. They are not all the same orientation um, as since they are paintings, they're gonna be whatever the artist drew to begin with. She did not create this as a, a card deck. This, these are paintings that someone else um, after her death put together um, as a card deck. I think it's going to be a really nice deck. Now, <clears throat> I also have to say something about the size of the cards. I'm not crazy about the shape. Um, I know some people like square cards. I When I originally took them out of the box, I wasn't... Um, I wasn't impressed with them. I'm also not impressed with the cardstock. So if you want them to use them for their animal spirit information and for the paintings, um, then uh, I can recommend that you get these. If you are gonna use these on a day-to-day -day basis and try to shuffle these, I don't think they're gonna hold up very well. Um, they're, uh, the edges are rather sharp and the cardstock is rather thin, even though it's glossy. I did get them rather inexpensively on Amazon. If I had paid more for this deck, I honestly probably would have returned it. I think that the paintings are lovely, but I don't think that the cardstock does them justice, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm just being honest. I don't want people to spend money on something that they're disappointed with after they get it. I'm also not a fan that they have the, the website of the publisher on every card. I know that some decks like U.S. Games have them very small in the side of the back, um, which I think would be more appropriate, but... I am looking forward to using these in my spirit animal practice. I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of work with spirit animals. This is just one deck of many that I am using. So I do think it will be appropriate for that. Um, I don't think it's going to be shuffled much. I think it's going to be mostly gone through just to get the, you know, flip through just to get the information that is included. Again, there is no consistency on whether they are. I think this deck could have been produced much, uh, much more efficiently if they had created it as a deck with the paintings inside of a border on a oracle size card, the rectangular oracle size, like the Hay House size cards. And I think that would have eliminated some of the um, feeling of inconsistency because they could have put, um, you know, they could have put the, this card within a border and then this card within a border and it could have all been the same orientation. 
And then if they had a guidebook with the text in it separately, I think it would have been a more cohesive Oracle deck. I'm not opposed to an Oracle deck that has the text on the back. I, I'm, I'm, I guess I don't wanna say that, but I just think that this could have been produced a little bit more thoughtfully in a way that would have honored the artist a little bit better. Let me know what your thoughts are. You know, do you agree with me? Do you like the way the paintings are being presented? Do you, you know, do you not mind the cardstock from what you can see without actually having them in your hand, obviously? Okay, that's interesting painting for them to use for a snake. I'm just going through this deck for the first time, so I haven't had a chance to like look at the validity of any of the um, text that's on them. Obviously, you would um, use them with your own intuition, and perhaps from the images themselves, you will get a lot of intuitive hits and be able to use them as an oracle deck. So, you know, um, maybe it really is just a flashcard set and it's not really an oracle deck. Oh, interesting. This one has several animals on it and they're just calling the card totem. Paintings themselves are beautiful, I've got to say. I just don't think that they were treated with the respect that they could have been. Um, I think that a book a guidebook that had, or a book that had information about the um, paintings themselves would have been interesting, um, more about her life. Um, she has several books of um, paintings that are available on Amazon. So let me know, um, did you enjoy this walkthrough? Was it helpful for you to decide if you want to buy this deck or not? Um, did it give you any insight into how the cards are? Um, I do look forward to using these in my Oracle card of the day, um, specifically in my Animal Spirit card of the day series and in my animal card, uh, my spirit animal card readings that will be upcoming. Um, I just think it's, 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 it'll, it'll be a, an interesting deck to include for what it has available. So click like if you enjoyed this walkthrough. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the deck and the cards and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you see when I do post uh, these animal cards and other card deck walkthroughs.